Good evening. Everybody ready? Okay. Um, earlier tonight, a little after uh, uh, five o'clock uh, this evening, um, the sheriff's office, along with assistance with the Polk County Sheriff's Office, arrested uh, Doris Donegan Moore, white female. She's charged tonight with accessory after the fact, first degree murder, uh, in the death of uh, Mr. Shakespeare. And what I'm going to be able to do tonight, I'm going to read. Um, from within the four corners of the affidavit, I'm going to have to limit my remarks. It's still a very active investigation, and I'll, I'll give you a little more on that. But I'm going to um, read from the probable cause affidavit that was used to charge her tonight, and um, and I'll answer a few questions that are narrowly and specifically related to the probable cause. Between April 6, 2009, and April 7, 2009. At an unknown hour, Abraham Lee Shakespeare was murdered within the residence located at 5732 Highway 60 East in Plain City, Florida. Doris Donegan Moore arranged for an undisclosed witness to use a backhoe to dig a hole and bury construction debris behind the residence located at 5802 Highway 60 East in Plain City, Florida, and later had him come back to fill in the hole. Undisclosed witness later met with Polk County Sheriff's Office Detective Wallace and Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office Detective Thomas and identified the location where the body was recovered as the same location where he had been requested to dig a hole, to dig the hole. In December 2009, Doris Moore wrote a letter to the victim's mother claiming to be the victim and to be all right. Doris Moore used the victim's cell phone and sent text messages to the victim's friends and family. On December 27, 2009, Doris Donegan Moore uh, had undisclosed witness make a cell phone call to the victim's mother, pretending to be the victim, and had him tell the victim's mother that he was all right. Doris Moore later admitted to Detectives Wallace and Clark that she had taken the steps to make it appear as if the victim was still alive. Between December 28, 2009 and January 21, 2010, Doris Donegan Moore approached undisclosed witness inquiring if he knew of anyone that was awaiting sentencing to prison and would be willing to admit to the killing of Abraham Shakespeare in exchange for $50,000 in U.S. currency. Doreen, uh, Doris Moore then told undisclosed witness that he and the other person would have to dig up the body and move it to another location. On January 25, 2010, Doris Moore met with undisclosed witness and provided a Smith & Wesson 38 caliber revolver and told him it was the weapon that had killed Abraham Shakespeare. Later on the same day, Doris Moore took undisclosed witness to the address at 5802 Highway 60 East in Plant City and showed him a concrete slab behind the residence and pointed out the location where the body was buried. Doris Moore placed a piece of steel bar on the slab to mark the spot and it was agreed that the body would be removed from the grave that night at 8 o'clock p.m. Doris Moore told the undisclosed witness that she was leaving a white and colored Ford F-150 pickup truck with an enclosed trailer attached to be used to transport the body. Doris Moore gave the keys uh, to the pickup truck to the undisclosed witness. Doris Moore showed the witness the contents of the trailer which she had purchased that consisted of a galvanized metal trough, bleach, gloves, and plastic sheeting. On January 25, 2010, Reese Moore admitted to Polk County Sheriff's Detectives Wallace and Clark that she had purchased bags of lime to be placed over the victim's body when it was buried. On January 28, 2010, members of the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office recovered human remains approximately six feet beneath the surface in the location where the metal bar was left by Doris Donegan Moore. The remains were identified to be those of Abraham Shakespeare by way of fingerprints. The Hillsborough County Medical Examiner's Office has determined the manner of death of Abraham Shakespeare was homicidal violence. I will take uh, what questions I can. That is the probable cause affidavit that was used um, for the charge um, tonight for the accessory after the fact, first degree murder. And um, let me start. Can you explain the charge, please? The charge, she is, she is charged right now with her... Um, uh, Regarding the facts that I have just given you, the statements that have been made, the evidence we've recovered, uh, she is not currently charged with the murder. She is charged right now as accessory after the fact. It's still a very active investigation. Um, we are back out at 5802 Highway 60 right now, serving a search warrant on the second residence, the two-story residence uh, that was the attorney's office, and um, uh, investigators are out there executing a search warrant. 
uh, simultaneous to the um, happenings here in, at uh, our facility. So she's charged with accessory after the fact and first-degree murder? Or she's charged with accessory after the fact regarding first-degree murder. She's charged in violation of Florida Statute 78204, subsection 1A, paragraph 1, and, sh and Florida Statute 777.03. And I'll make sure that you get a uh, redacted copy of the affidavit as you, as you leave. We'll give you one. Sheriff, sure. yes. uh, obviously all, all of the information that you just gave us regarding all of the evidence and the dates and the time, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm only assuming that that was information that you received uh, with your, from your partners over Polk County. That's a lot of information. It's a lot of evidence. Uh, why did it take this long to arrest her? And did it have anything to do with some of the very... Uh, what seemed like damning remarks that she made today to the media in front of her own home. Um, well, all, all of those things have been taken uh, into consideration, all of her statements, of course. And uh, uh, let me just say that uh, I spoke to Sheriff Judge just a few minutes ago and uh, with his detectives who are here with us. Uh, there, um, Sheriff Judd invested, has invested a great deal of time uh, in this case. They've done a, a, a great job to get it to this point. It just happened that uh, it, it, uh, it ends up here in Hillsborough County, but uh, we are that that is that that is one of the things that makes it a little bit complicated is we're having to take all of their investigative work and we're presenting it to um, uh, we've been working with Jerry Hill the state attorney in Polk County and also with uh, Mark Ober the uh, state attorney uh, here in Hillsborough County and it it, it is, does make for a more complicated um, uh, type of matter.